morning guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Rick and this is my weight loss journey and this is week let me just check week 16 so this is the week just before Christmas so like I said in previous videos I've actually finished work now so this is I'm filming this the day before my actual weigh day but stick around because my weigh day I will put on the end of this I just thought while I've got a bit of time I'll just drop on and have a little bit of a chat with you guys so this week how's it been to be honest with you this has been quite difficult because there's no structure there's lots of food in the house and it's starting to get Christmassy for real so what do I mean so normally I'm a, as people know who's watching this I'm quite a creature of habit and organized and planning and I know I need to know what I'm doing sort of medium term let's say so yeah so I broke up from work I did a little bit Monday Tuesday but not as intense as normal so it's been a bit loose on sort of start work work take breaks if that makes sense so what I'm trying to say is now my structure of work's gone so I'm still up I get up I'm quite an early riser so I'm filming this it's still quite early on yeah just on half past seven so I've got up um, and trying to relax I've got a vlog to put together for another YouTube channel that I've got so I've got that to do I'm just watching a bit of telly and it's really hard when you've not got a plan of what to do I'm finding that difficult which that's affected my food I mean I've got my water um, I'm about to have a, a latte I'll get that out of the fridge in a moment but yeah, this week's been difficult for lots of reasons. Like I say, Christmas has finally been wiped out. Because we were going to go to the in-laws and then to see my mum and sisters. But we've obviously cancelled all them plans and we're just stopping at home now. Which is great. I don't mean that in a bad way. But you know what I mean. It's great because I've got two young girls and we'll have a fabulous Christmas. And we've already played a few games and been on Nintendos and board games and started my jigsaw which is more important <laughs> so it was just going to be where we were going to meet up because we've obviously not seen anyone very oh god for for quite a long time now in the family um it's been a difficult year this year anyway because i lost my dad in march just as we went into lockdown so i wasn't allowed to see him for the last few weeks and then Funeral wise was like 10 of us, um, I'm okay with it, I'm good, it was poorly and it was the right time, um, but I've probably seen my mum twice since then, which it's not good is it, when you, you lose somebody you want to be with your family, so that's kind of difficult and we were sort of planning quite a nice day for our Christmas if you know what I mean, so we were I go see him at the grave, say a few words, and then obviously, as people know, he's lost people. First Christmas round the table with him not there, but we were planning for it, and we were gonna do some, you know, nice things around that day. Remember, so that's kind of got cancelled. So that's a bit going, if I'm honest. Um, what else has happened? My daughter, she got track and traced. So Monday afternoon, just gone. We got an email from the school give, saying that she's been in contact with someone who's positive. So as I'm sat here now, we had to... So she came, so let me put this in perspective. So th Thursday was her last day at school, I think, yeah. And Monday, we've just got a letter saying, Emily, my youngest, has been track and traced and been in contact with someone. Now, Friday, we put it down just as like what you call, like we say, a sicky bug. So she was... Not feeling very well, I had a temperature, a bit of a sore throat, but didn't want to eat, felt sick. So you kind of know as a parent what's coming. So I went into the evening and she was quite ill through the night. Like I said, normal sickness bug. Woke up the next day, she felt a lot better, but just a bit ugh, washed out, didn't really want to eat. So then she's absolutely fine now, nothing to worry about, absolutely nothing wrong with her whatsoever. She's back to normal. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. That's my phone. 
So she's all back to normal, but like I say, we've got this email and because she had symptoms, we thought we'd better get a, um, a COVID test. So I took her to our local testing centre on Monday afternoon. So we're now sat here Wednesday, so we're still waiting for the results from that to see if it's a negative or a positive. So we're isolating anyway at the moment, which fortunately we've done our shopping already. So we're isolating, waiting for the right result. Not that we're going to rush out and go away, because like I say, everything else has been cancelled. So that's that. And like I say, we've got all this nice food in. Um, this week, I've had some nuts. I've had some Bombay mix, and I've had some some healthy nuts that I bought for Christmas. Um, and that's just because everyone else around me is eating. So I thought I'll have a small bowl, controlled, but that'll affect my weight loss for this week. So that's, you know, I kind of feel guilty now that I've done that. I don't know why, but um, I had, you know, a goodish day other than that. Three products, healthy meal last night. I had a roundup meal or makeup meal or whatever you call them, the beef, which was good. So I've had that, and today I, I'm trying to have my latte and I'll have a milkshake at lunch, plenty of water, and I get weighed tomorrow, Christmas Eve, 8 a.m. So I'll put that on the end of here. But I just because i got a bit of time, I thought I'd just explain to you this week and how circumstances changing can affect you. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Because you know me, I'm super positive about this and organised and all the rest of it. But just a few things this week have knocked me, so... Finishing work, lost structure, obviously cancelling Christmas plans, knocked me a little bit. Daughter having to have this Covid test, it does knock you because you do worry. Um, and I wonder if that's why I've eaten, I don't know really. Because after tomorrow I have made the choice, like I say, to eat for Christmas. So it would be interesting what my weight is tomorrow. Other than that, like I said, I've got not, not gone mad, I've not done a binge or anything stupid but I just wanted to put that on camera tell you how I feel feeling good obviously looking forward to Christmas like I say we're all excited girls are excited we're all excited we're all set for it really just got a little bit of wrapping but that's a daddy thing so I need to do that today wrap some presents up like I say I'm editing another vlog for another channel for our family channel so I'll try and get that out over Christmas and just watch a bit of telly and relax, which is hard, sitting around doing nothing, I've found. But we all need the break. So hope you guys are all safe. And I know a lot of plans for you guys will have changed as well, which will be hard. Um, I'm blessed that I've got children that I'll have my Christmas and it'll be all exciting. But for you guys out there, if you're struggling, please just reach out, talk to people. I'm talking to a camera in a room on my own <laughs> but drop us a message find me on instagram let's have a chat if you're all struggling if, if anyone's struggling if you want to have a chat i'm about but if everything's all good have a fabulous christmas everyone let's make the best of this one and like us all it's all a bit doom and gloom at the minute isn't it with what's going on but all we've got to do is be positive and think to the future and this will pass this will go and we will all get out of this situation so keep smiling everybody keep winning and whatever choices you make don't and i'm trying to tell myself this don't beat yourself up yeah so if you're going to eat you're going to eat get it done let's get to the other side let's use a bit of that january motivation to get back on track um fresh start and all that which everyone will start going on about it for the new year so if you are going to eat be careful if you're not fantastic let me know how you're getting on with that so whatever you've chosen to do whatever you're doing stay safe have a merry christmas be happy and have lots of good times so i'm just going to put on my weight i'm going to say weight loss but i'm not sure now I'm just going to put on my results for my weigh in tomorrow on the end of this video now so thanks for sticking around check out what I've done and then I will see you in the next one guys so keep smiling keep positive and I'll see you soon bye for now well good morning folks here we are just following on from my last bit just there it's eight o'clock now 
I've just been down to pick up my stuff, which is here in my little box. Got a little goodie bag by the looks of it. I'll have a look at that in a minute. So I'm just having a latte. So I've not actually been in, but I've given my weight and I've lost one pound, which is good because I know I've been nibbling this week, which has been really difficult because of Christmas and everything. So happy with that. Um, so yeah, because my daughter, like I've explained, got track and traced and we've not had the results back yet. We're all kind of isolating. So I've gone down to get this box. I didn't go in. We put it on the drive. It's freezing. And I went out and picked it up and brought it in. So thank you for that. Martin, appreciate your time this morning. So I've just pulled up around the corner. I've got a latte on. And my box. Nice and cold. And um, so that's it for 2020 weighing. Wow. So that's another pound. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going into Christmas. This is going to be the fun bit. So <laughs> fingers crossed for next week. I've made some choices. I've got some healthier choices of food but i'm not going to lie is there going to be a sneaky beer in there yes there will be is there going to be some crisps possibly and all the rest of it we all know what we're going to be doing so just wishing you all a happy merry christmas and a prosperous new year and hey all we can look forward to is next year now isn't it because we've got this far so please 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 don't feel too guilty when you do eat if you do eat like I say, I've been on and iron this week and it's been difficult. Trust me, stopping work, like I said in the last one. And now, eating, not eating, messes with me here, head totally. So, let's just get Christmas done. Get to the start of next year and get back on it and finish this journey that started. Um, and that's it. My advice, if you're going to eat, try and control it try and be healthy but if you don't and you actually pig out and you gorge on drink and do whatever you do just try not to feel guilty at least you're recognizing it just trying to put some positive spins on it so with that being said i hope you guys have a great time great christmas and new year we say i'm just we're all home alone now got my two little girls who are quite excited about a visitor tonight so i'm going to get home go spend some time with them and i will see you next week Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.